a new venomous species has been discovered. Absolutely awesome. It looks like a taipan almost. Kind of. I mean, it looks like a reverse coach whip. It, it looks like a colubrid of some sort, uh, but I'm, it looks like a colubrid, but I'm sure it's an elapid. I'm sure it's got front fixed fangs. It's probably from Australia. Yep, it's, been, it's from Australia. A new species of venomous snake has been discovered in Australia. What is known about the desert whip snake? Oh, coach whip, whip snake. I mean, that's pretty cool. They look kind of like that. Uh, was discovered by DNA researcher James Nakivel at the University of Adelaide and South Australian Museum honorary researcher Mark Hutchinson, along with the herpetologist Brad Marion and Brian Bush. The species has been mistaken for different species for years, but by studying a collection of tissue samples, researchers determined that this species was actually entirely its own. This is because the desert whip snake has many similarities to other desert snakes. It's really a successful and widespread animal. It's just that it's taken this long to be able to work out that it's actually a distinct species and not the same as you see on the west coast or east coast of Australia, Hutchinson's told the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, it's taken the addition of genetic profiling from then Kivel uh, was able to do taking the addition of the genetic profiling that Menkeville was able to do. Okay, wildlife photographer Ross McGibbon posted about the new find on Facebook. I targeted the species in 2017 during one of my photography trips after receiving a hot tip that it might one day be described as a new species, he said on the post. Facebook user Paul Codier um, commented on the post, absolutely awesome that we're still discovering new species. While assessing the genetic sample of the snake, uh, scientists found that these desert animals form, uh, form a gene pool of their own, the museum said to, uh, in a Facebook post. When studying the uh, specimens closely, the researchers were able to spot external differences that are subtle but consistent enough uh, that they can be determined as a new species. That's cool. Uh, they are slim, that means their head is very small and their fangs are very short for their size, Hutchison told ABC. It will certainly bite if you try to pick them up or handle them, but there's no records of significant bites coming from these snakes. A bite will likely cause pain and swelling, but it would not be fatal. Okay, gotcha. So it's probably not in the lab. It. Snakes only tend to... I mean, they don't give much information. I don't know anything else about it. What are they closely related to? Snakes only tend to lunge uh, and bite a human if they feel directly provoked and threatened. Most species will try to avoid humans and flee rather than attack. The whip snake is not the only newly discovered... A uh, discovery made by researchers recently. In recent months, they've discovered four new species of sand dragon lizard in South Australia. Okay, let's see. So it's called, what's the scientific name? There we go. Let's see what more about this guy. Um, let's see what iNaturalist has to say. They, they're usually pretty straight up. Oh, thanks. Is there no information? It is... I would like to know. Bluish gray in color, formerly known... The name for the desert whip snake is... To modify the Greek word, meaning blah, 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 Although distinct and looking. The new reptiles greatly be confused with two other whip snakes. They are yellow-faced whip snake and eastern, okay... So, Desert Whip Snake. Maybe if I look that up, it'll give me some information on it. Desert Whip Snake. Finally. A species of venomous snake. Oh, it is an elapid. Identified as a new species in 2023. Although it's uh, the species endemic to Australia, they're venom and smile, not deadly for humans. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And they're fast, and they eat lizards and stuff. Cool. Pretty snake. I mean, it looks like a black racer almost. Like, I mean, body shape and the colorations. Look at those scales. That's awesome. Well, cool. New snake found. Um, I love looking up stuff like this too. You know, as much as animal attacks are, you know, interesting to go over, 
I like animal news in general, especially when it comes to new species, because you hear about things getting wiped out all the time. So it's nice to hear good news. And I mean, even if it's something that we've known about for a while, we just didn't realize it was a different species. It's always cool to be able to know that there are differences because they're trying to do this with the Burmese python too in Florida. They're going to give it a distinction probably at some point if it's genetically different enough that it's its own subspecies. And at that point, if it's its own subspecies, what do we do? <laughs> like, is it now the Florida Burmese python? I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think down below and I'll see you in the next one. Keep it wild.